Dude, our perks platform has generated over 4 billion in trades. How much has yours done? Zero. How many deadlines have you hit on time? Zero. How do you find us or why do you come to a company like us? Well, first off, and this, and then, and I'll kind of put in a little story here. You know, you're a founder. You have an idea. I need a, you know, I'm somewhat technical, but I'm not really technical, but I can do a little coding, but I'm not a real coder, you know, whatever. And, but I have this idea. And then I go find a college buddy or somebody I worked with or something. And, you know, as Michael calls it, you know, you get this Rick and Morty. If you're familiar with the Rick and Morty show, you know, they get their Rick. So he's the smartest guy in the room. Everybody will deal with his ego and his problem. And this is how we're building it. And no one else can tell me how to build it differently and so forth and so on. And they, and these teams get down that path. And we see it time and time again. You know, we're dealing with one team now uh, with a project. I won't name them. You know, they have a guy in there that thinks he knows everything there is to know about everything else in the world. And we don't know how to build perps platforms and we don't know how to do this and we don't know how to do that. And it's like, dude, our perps platform has generated over four billion in trades. How much has yours done? Zero. You know, you know, how much has this happened? Zero. How much has this happened? Zero. How many deadlines have you hit on time? Zero. Founders over here listening to him because he's so afraid to cut that tie. So what I'm trying to say is, where do you start? You look for a team, not two guys at a keyboard, that's going to say, hey, I can do this for 30 bucks an hour. Because guess what you're going to get for 30 bucks an hour? You're not going to deliver it. I can run through five projects right now where those, those clients, one client spent $10 million in three years trying to build a product before they got to us. Our rate card was much higher, but we built and delivered the product in six months for a million dollars. You do the math. What's more cost effective? I have another client that spent four and a half million, five million dollars. In a couple of years, they came to finally got to us. Oh, you guys are too expensive. We delivered in seven months. Guess what? It cost them 900,000. So what's more cost effective? So what if my rates are higher? It's not, you know, the world we live in is delivery is everything. If you can deliver when you say you're going to deliver for the price, you're going to say you're going to deliver that. That's what you want. Some known quantity. We have a really bad issue in this industry and it's been this way for as long as i've been around oh i can do that in a month and in a month it's like well we need another two weeks and then oh we need another three weeks oh we screwed up we got to start over let's spend another six months you know and all of a sudden this three-month project is now a year into it way over budget and done work that's what these people are doing is they're founders they have limited money you know some of them are just doing it with their credit cards and literally, and it's like, oh my God, I can't afford you guys. You know, you're charging me 20000 a month for an engineer or whatever the number is. And I need four of them. I can't afford that. Well, you're going to get 10 over here for 30000 a month and you expect they're going to deliver? No. You know, and that's, and that's what people lose sight of. It, it's the difference from somebody asking how much monthly is my car payment versus somebody asking how much is the, the car actually cost? Exactly. And it's like, so this project was 1.3 million from our standpoint. And it was a, I mean, bad quality that they spent a year out of Pakistan, bad code quality, about 20% done. And he's asking for all these modules and all this stuff. It's like, yeah, it's a million three. That's with audit. That's with, you know, DevOps. That's with everything included. Oh, that's too much money. You're three times higher. Okay. So what are you buying? Two guys and a keyboard? You know, and so it's, it's like, and then it's like, oh, you're probably right. We'll probably, you know, you're, you're probably right, Wes, but. You know, I got to go with these cheap guys because, you know, I'm, I'm self-funded. It's like, how do we trump this to make it work for you that you actually get a real product built? You know, so. I mean, that, that, that's, that's worse. I mean, if you're self-funded, you should care about your, your, your funds, right? You should want to say, hey, I'm spending this much money, but I expect this kind of delivery, not hope and dream that it might happen, but actually have a team that is willing to guarantee the work. I mean, that's, I'm, oh, sorry. But it's probably not that people don't care. It's probably just that, like, they don't fully understand the complexities of the problems they're walking themselves into. And as we, as we touched on earlier, it's just like, we'd love if they look, even if we are not the right people at the end of the day, they, they need that strategy. They need that plan. They need that structured approach. They need to understand the problems they're going to face, the solutions they're going to need, and the people who have the experience and expertise to 
deliver the solutions to those problems and listen to people who've walked the path before, like, you know, rather than walking into the abyss.